Hi, so I want to go through a very quick tutorial on how to create a load balancer in Azure and load balance multiple servers that distribute your traffic throughout uh, different VMs. So here I am going to click new here and I'm going to search for Microsoft load balancer which is under networking and if I scroll all the way down you see there's a load balancer here I'm gonna click on load balancer or you could just search Microsoft load balancer now you could name it anything I'm gonna name it uh, LB web 02 because I already have a web 01 I'm gonna say it's a public load balancer and now I'm gonna create a public IP address and I'm gonna create new and I'm gonna want a static IP address so it's my LB public IP2 and I'm gonna create it under a resource group that I currently have and the load balancer is now gonna be created now after I create the load balancer that itself is not enough um, before you create the load balancer when you create your VMs you have to create your VMs in availability sets so uh, for example when I create a VM in availability set what that gives me is it distributes the VMs and assigns it in different uh, power sources and in different network switches so that is something Microsoft manages and they will distribute it evenly based on whatever VMs are already existing in the current availability set so if you look at my checklist here uh, one of the things that is required is when you create your VMs you must create it in availability sets and um, that allows the VMs to uh, be highly available based on being located automatically by Microsoft in different power sources and in different network switches and also if they have maintenance it will be each VM will be restarted uh, not at the same time but depending on what update domain number they're in so that's how they protect against uh, having high availability is that they will restart or have maintenance in different uh, update domains as well as protect you from uh, having multiple network uh, multiple VMs in the same network switch or same power source and the other thing is um, you will have to set up a public IP address which is what I did before um, and you set up something called probes so, so I'm going to do that now when I go to my all my resources and I'm gonna go to the network the load balancer I created so the first thing you have to create is probes so I'm gonna click on probes and what probes does is you're gonna have to probe different it, it's a rule basically so I'm gonna click add so I'm gonna detect on the port 80 so basically it detects whether a server is alive or not based on that port so I'm gonna say probe 02 and I'm gonna just leave everything default and I'm gonna have backend pools so I'm gonna add now the VMs that I want in the in the uh, load balancer so I have an availability set so this is why it's vital that you create your VMs in availability uh, in, an, in an availability set because uh, you can only do that during the creation of your VM and I'm gonna choose the VMs and I'm gonna choose all three here and I'm gonna say select and I'm gonna click OK and you'll see my three VMs are now in the pool 
So I'm gonna say, just say this is LB pool 02. And I'm gonna click OK. Go back now. So, so I have everything set up except for the load balance rules. So I'm gonna go to the load balance rules now. And I'm gonna create a rule. And I'm gonna create a rule for port 80. Load balanced web 02, rule one. And basically, here is where I could say whether I want a sticky session. So I'm gonna say I don't want a sticky session for now, so I could demonstrate uh, the difference between the two. I, I think most people know the difference is that uh, based on IP address, it will send the traffic to the same server uh, during the initial contact, or uh, if you say none, it'll just distribute it to the three servers regardless of uh, what the initial IP address was. So I am going to click OK now. So this rule is for port 80. And that's really it. Once you do that, um, let me bring up a load balancer that I've already set up. So the load balancer points to this public IP address. So if I type that in now, let me copy the IP address here. So I have a web application on those three servers. And if I click OK here, um, it might take a while for the load balancer here. But I do have another load balancer here pointing to those same exact servers. And under the, under the servers, I identify it by the server name here. So once I click refresh, you'll see the traffic comes from different different servers so if I keep refreshing here you'll notice it went to Silver Surfer now Firestorm and Iron Man now this isn't quite working on this screen it's not finding the server so I'm gonna go back here and see what's wrong with my configuration if I click back end pools you'll notice here I did not save my virtual machines that I assigned to the back end pools so I'm gonna go back here choose my virtual machines I'm gonna choose all three click select click OK here and I'm gonna have to click save and notice it says there's a network error because I've actually assigned this to more than one load balancer which is not allowed um, but let me go back and show you a similar load balancer I set up which does have the three servers and there you go so so this is what this is running off of here and once again if I hit refresh you'll notice it goes back and forth between all three servers that I have now uh, just to review the three things you must do is uh, for the VMs you must create all the VMs under an availability set and assign them to the same availability set because Microsoft will distribute those availability sets in different fault domains and update domains and you must set up your public IP address when you create your load balancer you must set up the probes when you create your, uh, the rules and you must create your rules you must create your uh, backend pools and that's really it that that's really the sort of uh, three steps here to creating a load balancer and uh, hope this helps and thank you for watching.